Okay. Uh, this is interesting. Five two. Um. Yeah. So normally, I guess I try to do uh, when a, when there's a new cards, new expansion comes out. I try to do um, a lot of uh, I guess play during the um, during the week it comes out. But this this last one that's the Cornucopian Guild Second Edition, which features Footpad in this game. Uh, doesn't, doesn't get that. Um, so, my instinct on fives are open junk to you, I'm actually kind of tempted to take a desperation for alter, just considering foot pad gives me a little bit of draw. I guess alter and track are the only ways you're getting that out. Spreads light on draw, it's actually only king's court. Um, plus by, I guess, the a ducket or the pouch. I'm gonna open junk dealer tracker. Um, with probably the idea that I can pull the alter out of either a desperation or something else. Um, it's just, it's not going to be like that powerful a board. Like even, you know, I talk about the, the draw being King's Court. It's like King's Court on Blessed Village. You don't really want to be putting it on Cabin Boy, although that might be still the best payload. Um, I guess it also means that Footpad's probably kind of important actually more for the discard attack than the, uh, Below the line stuff. Anyways, so this one was unexpected, which means I like didn't actually get the. Um, oh, you get a silver and a card next turn. That's kind of exciting. Uh, which means oh, you want it now? Okay, whatever. I mean, it's an unrated game, so whatever. Okay, you figured out that you could buy Alter. Um, we'll, we'll note that Blessed Village can, can give me a, a bonus card on the next turn. <laughs> seeing as, seeing as that's been, that's been nicely revealed to me. Um, in fact, I believe I, I would like that. Uh, yeah, next turn. Watch, watch this. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it was, was not happening on no notice. Um, that's interesting, isn't it? Uh, we drew the silver in the Blessed Village. I guess we're going to top deck an altar. Um, just, just given the situation, like, top deck in King's Court doesn't do me a whole lot. I guess I got also, like, Desperation and top deck King Tracker. That doesn't seem very good. Let's just do that. I'm going to try to pick up, um, I guess a lot of something. Uh, Blessed Village, maybe? Um, into this shuffle, I suppose I'm gonna put Footpad. Uh, especially given that, like, Alter isn't actual draw with it, is it? Footpad. Okay, we drew something unpleasant. Um, Maybe we just take Ducket here. Like, I don't really want a Desperation for Blessed Village as much as they might like to do that. Uh, and I guess we'll start getting the discard attack in. Uh, which I think is important. Again, just, just consider the lack of draw. In this four, I'm not quite sure whether to take like Blessed Village or Cabin Boy. I guess the other thing, the, the, the other discard attack is Clerk, but uh, Footpad does a little bit more. And also the Coffers are nice for eventually spiking King's Court, I guess is the other thought there. I didn't really have the opportunity for a Clerk, I mean I had the 5-2. Um, and then I, then I knew that Blessed Village was gonna be, was gonna be kind. And that can go next turn. Hopefully that'll that'll make King's Court on top this turn happen, which I think it will. Um, discard all three. Leave the foot pad. And yeah, let's get ourselves a King's Court on top of deck. Um, I might get attacked here. If I get attacked here, I might King the foot pad instead. I guess there's an altar in there and a junk dealer, which makes that a little bit less appealing, right? Um, yeah. That is King, King, King the foot pad instead of the, instead of the blessed village. Uh, especially since I can, 
can consider the shuffle a little bit. Let's do it. Let's do it like this. Uh, I may end up playing a. I may end up playing an empty altar, but oh well. I guess we could play like three empty altars. I don't know that that's better than just getting another king's court in the deck. Is the thing. Um, Serious, serious deficiency. Um, okay. Well, I'm just going to king the foot pad. That's an altar. I really would rather not trash it. And maybe I'll desperation for a king's court. I feel like I don't have like enough cards in here to do that, but... Um, like at some point, that, that is the draw, right? Uh, I'm going to do Drug Dealer first in case it draws a King's Court. Yeah, like that. Uh, maybe more Blessed Village. Like, at some point, these want to be Cabin Boys, I'm sure. It's just... I don't, I don't know when that is. Uh, I guess we can take it now. More King's Court. And there's a good chance I get Discard Attacked, but no, no not, not happening. I mean, I have the King's Court advantage, right? That's that's worth something. I mean, I want the Cowboys just because they produce like money without really requiring draw. Um, I'm gonna King Altar. It seems kind of crazy, but I think I'm gonna do it. Um, we don't really need the Junk Dealer anymore. I guess now I'm taking Cabin Boys, whether I was thinking too hard about it or not. <laughs> yeah, that was fancy. Alright, we feel good about this game. Um, I guess I just want more King's Court. Like, do I have that here? Yeah. Can I top deck it? Sure. I don't actually know if there's actions there. Okay, there are. I think it might have actually, well, no, there are three cards, so, so there was something in there to, to do. So, I, I should end up winning this game. Um, it's just kind of a matter of getting there and things not exactly being everything you might hope. Um, we are not kinging the, uh, other cabin boys. Well, maybe I should have. Hmm. Get over it. Uh, this could be another cabin boy. Sure, top deck it. Um, altar is fine. We're just going to do all cabin boys. This point. Uh, blessed village. Those aren't useless, right? Probably should have done that instead of the silver. Um, produce some coins. I'm running out of things to alter. Uh, that should be okay, though. Right? Um... I don't even know if I want to play all of these. Like, I mean, I want, I want cabin boys. I just don't know that I want to. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't. Again, I don't really have time for another. I guess we can do another. What is it? Yeah. Let's see what, let's see what this one has. That was just an ugly board. This one has, uh, carnival and infirmary. Um, I know I showed those with like nowhere near enough time to actually see them, but uh, what's awkward about this board is that Hideout is only a village for so long. Um, Deliver's really good though, so we should be fine. We could even do something, we can even set up turns where we like deliver uh, some stuff and have have other stuff work out that I'm not really specifying at the moment. Um, I think I'm just going to do an infirmary open here. Uh, we get to trash out the estate. I don't. I don't think that there's anything that can really build up to a bigger infirmary early on, and it does seem like a 
best way to best way to be trashing things um especially as we like pick up an old map uh pick up maybe voyage um those will be those will be nice things to have uh I guess the the other consideration is like maybe I would want to open a silver instead. This double overpay thing doesn't. I've, I've like seen it twice now, but it doesn't make <laughs> nice old map to see. Um, it doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Uh, just because, um, like you don't actually want to end up with two infirmaries in your deck. I don't think. That often, like they're both terminal, especially here where village is a problem. Uh, I don't know how much village is a problem, but we'll we'll buy a landing party. Um, this game should end up being pretty uh, like on and off turns. Um, voyage should help with the landing parties. That should make them uh, fairly low impact if I ever get to have a voyage. Um, maybe I just take another old map here. Like, I mean, I want Voyage, but my next buy is probably Collection, right? Uh, I could take another Silver, that's not that appealing. Uh, Moral Map, I don't know if that does me any good, even. So maybe we just take a Silver. Not, not thrilled, not thrilled. Um, you are getting Collections, which is... Uh, concerning. Um, I probably want to deliver a collection here. I'm not like that into rotating the old map just because it gives you first option at voyage. Um, so I guess we're going to leave it and then we're going to deliver. Uh, so this, this turn I'll get the, this turn I'll get the voyage. Um, possibly even delivering it. Maybe you just get two old maps. Okay, so you're you're kind of going after the scoring, which seems okay, not amazing. Yeah, so I'm I'm just gonna deliver a voyage. Um, the the voyage stuff is really really good for uh, landing party. Um, right, at least I think it is. Probably you want a voyage? No, you're just going more collections. Mm. Uh, I guess we'll deliver collection. I'm not actually like scoring with these, but that seems okay. Uh, here we could, um, I guess we can't deliver a landing party, but we can top deck the landing party and buy collection. If that's something we really feel like doing, I could also just get another landing party. That might be a bit better. Like I have two collections in deck. Let's try to, let's try to cycle it a bit more. Um, trying trying to play this voyage voyage landing party interaction, uh, which I think should end up working out well. Um, I think I'm I think I'm doing like considerably better than the opponent, even if the score isn't really bearing it out yet. Uh, let's take more collection. Uh, this can deliver a landing party. And we'll try to do we'll try to do the on off turns with the voyage just being like a double off turn. Um, like you're you're not actually drawing, so despite like these somewhat impressive turns, like putting together the three collections, I don't think that should be sustainable. Oh, maybe, maybe I'll turn out to be wrong. Uh, that would put old map on top. That's fine. I don't, I mean, I, I, I would happily take an old map. Um, so, maybe we go like, deliver collection, collection. That seems okay. And then we can go the do the do the do the deliver landing party thing. 
I'm not scoring a whole lot, but I think it should be fine because like I'm actually able to I'm actually able to run this deck where I'm gonna be playing five collections more often. Right. Like this 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 thing that's happening on the other side should should be should be able to become should be able to get overtaken. And I mean it's playing it's playing with hideout as the village rather than landing party voyage, which I'm I'm totally calling landing party a voyage a thing. Like later on we could even just be delivering copper. Uh plausibly if if we need to. Are we gonna find the infirmary? No. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. But what can you do? Um, two collections, landing party. We're not actually gonna play the landing party, but. This is this is the deck. I mean, I don't I don't have the point lead yet, but this should be this should be the last turn of that being the case. Right. Seven collections. I don't think it's I don't think it's going to happen over there. Uh, I guess the one thing I need to probably watch out a little bit for is uh, getting piled out on. Um, I might actually want to just like do a big infirmary overpay. Uh, I don't know that that's there's that much point in that. Um, I could just like add you know random draw card. Um, let's deliver a gold for next turn. Uh, maybe take like two landing parties. Um, Silver. I mean, we should just be able to keep adding coins, right? Um, one, two, three, deliver a pilgrim. I don't think my deck really supports carnival better than pilgrim right now. You should, no, I guess you have two trashers. So there's, there's actually like something where potentially you could get close to an estate pile out here. Right. I may have messed this one. I have so many points. All right, I'm I'm no longer concerned about this estate pile out that I was contemplating. That is that is not going to be a thing. I hope. Okay, that's that's definitely not going to be a thing with the hunting grounds getting played. I haven't trash in a long time. I guess we're going to be looking at estate pile out. It's going to be really sad. We're going to play seven collections and we're going to buy a bunch of estates. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's 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 what that's what this is going to be. We're going to play seven collections and we're going to buy a bunch of estates. I guess we might also be able to do the infirmaries. Well, either way, I think it is happening this next turn. Um, you get a barbarian, that would be kind of nasty given how my deck is working, except that the game's about to be over. <laughs> like, like the barbarian could trash the landing parties that I'm top decking. Um, let's see. I'll play the Voyage, although I don't think I actually need it. Yeah, so this is just going to be seven estates. I think that's the easiest. I don't want to mess with the overpay prompt. 
right. That's sure. Province was actually less than hunting grounds, but yeah. So so those were two those were two games. I don't know how much they actually featured the the new cards, but um, yeah, uh, that was that was what it was. And uh, I'll see you all.